Alright, so first of all, what you want to do to download these mods is you want to go to your Curse Forge um, homepage and you create custom profile, or if you already have a profile, what you want to put the mods in, do that. But this is going to do just from new, so you want to do create profile. Then you can choose a name, you choose a name, we'll just do it. Um, just name it test. And um, choose whatever version you want, you can, um, Minecraft version. And make sure that whatever Minecraft version you choose, it's the same for the downloads here. So I'm just going to do um, 1.16.5. And then it automatically select the T mod loader version. Just leave that as it is. And then I'm um, clicking on leave it on Forge and I just press create. And then it's to create a new profile. <clears throat> so where did it, yeah, here it is. And then you just want to click on these three dots, then go to open folder. And then we should do get out of that. And then you want to go to these two links in the description. I have these links in the description. You want to click on these two links, this obfuscate and the gun mod. And then what you want to do is you want to download the whatever version you have um, of Forge. You want to download the same one. So, the, so, so you can see the one here is 1.16.5. So you, you want to download this one, 1.16.5. So I'll click on download. And then for also this one, you want to click on 1.16.5, which is here. Click on download. And download both of them. Just put them into like your downloads folder or whatever. I'm just going to put both of them in my downloads folder. And this will also be the other one. Put in my downloads folder. And then what you want to do is you want to go to wherever it's installed. You want to open up a new up a new um file window and then you want to get these two and then make sure this is your um the one the mods folder where you want it and then click on mods and then drag these in here and then this will be in in here now so name mods are in here so now if you come on here you'll see the mod thing here you also have the other one but um this one is um this one's just so this um this guy's Mr. Crayfish's um all these mods. This is just what he uses. So all these mods on work. Um I don't know how to explain, it, but that's just what you need to use his mods. So um yeah, that's how you install it, and then let's go and check out the content inside the um mod. Let's go. Okay, so moving into the mod. First off, what we need to craft all of the recipes in this um mod will be this thing right here, which is called the workbench. When you use it and you um use it's five five iron ingots and three light grey concrete and then you get the workbench which you can see you can craft all the stuff in this mod all right next off the base of this mod is going to be the actual guns so in this chest you can see the gun and then what it needs so the pistol is 20 14 iron shotgun is 24 iron the machine pistol is 20 iron the heavy rifle is 36 iron, the rifle is 24 iron, the assault rifle is 28 iron, the minigun is 38 iron, the grenade launcher is 32 iron, and the bazooka is 44 iron, 4 redstone, and 1 redstone die. Now what you can also do with these guns is in this bench you see this little um, thing here, this paint on my icon, this is what you can do to actually change the colour of the guns. So you can come into the chest, and you, you, you can use any die colour, let's just grab out magenta, you get thing you put in the crafting table yeah and you can see it change the color of the gun or you can um you can also um put it when you're crafting the gun you, when you're actually crafting it you can put this in there and it will craft it and change it because it is with the attachments too yeah you can do it with the attachments too all right so moving on from the guns um here is the ammo and there's no point in having a gun without ammo because you can't shoot it so yeah, this is the ammo. So as before and everything else in this mod, you'll need to use a um, workbench to craft the ammo. As you can see, you just craft it from your inventory and also there's stuff here. So over here, um, as you can see, uh, 32, um, four iron and one gunpowder will get you 32 basic bullets and four iron and one gunpowder will also get you 16 advanced bullets. Um, one, four iron nuggets, one gold nugget and one gunpowder will give you 24 um, shotgun shells. One missile costs uh, two iron and four gunpowder, and two grenades. Okay, now moving on from the basic, the base stuff. This is um, actually like grips and attachments for your gun. So as you can see here, you just come to the attachments here, and there's all different attachments here, which do different things. So as you can see in here, these are the scopes. There's a short scope, medium scope, and long scope. 
and the short scope is two iron, one glass, and two redstone dust. The medium scope is four iron nuggets, to one glass pane, and four redstone dust. And the long scope is six iron, two glass panes, and one black die, which you can get from um, squid sacks, make them in a black die. And then for the stocks here, the light stock, the light stock um, gives you and um, all of these, they uh, um, it also says the perks too. So like the perks for the sights will be reduced ADS speed, and the more bigger the scope is, the um the longer the higher the reduced ADS speed is. Anyway, anyway, moving on to over here with the the, the stocks, um the light stock which gives you reduced projectile spread, reduced recoil, and but it also gives you um increased um reduced ADS speed. So um, well to craft this light stock, it'll be iron nuggets and one grey wool. And tactical stock, which gives you reduced projectile speed, reduced recoil speed, and reduced ATS speed, is eight iron and one grey wool. And then the weighted stock, which gives you reduced projectile spread, reduced recoil, reduced ATS spread, and reduced fire rate, is twelve iron and one grey wool. And then over here with the second part of the stocks, there's two, there's grips here, and then a silencer. So the special grip, which is gives you reduced recoil, projectile spread, reduced recoil, and um, reduced ADS speed, and it's a iron and one grey wall. And the light grip, which it gives you um, reduced projectile spread, reduced recoil, and increased ADS speed. Craft that from four iron nuggets and one grey wall. And then lastly, the silencer, which gives um, obviously like silent suppressed um, fire, reduced um, fire sound radius, and reduced weapon damage though. And then they make that by four iron and then one sponge. And yeah, that's all the attachments for guns. I right, know. Now moving on to the final thing in this mod, which will be the enchantments for the um enchantments for the gun, which is actually really cool, I think. So you would get these from um either fire name and like um chests, um and like dungeons and stuff, or you can either you can also um um or Minecraft. I'm um, sorry. You can find them in dungeons or Minecraft, mine in mine shafts, and to um you can also get them from enchanting books, which will be um a book and then lapis in an enchanting table, and then actually yeah book and lapis enchanting table, and then and then the enchanting books will come with this mod, uh quick hands trigger finger lightweight collateral overcapacity overcapacity reclaimed ex reclaimed accelerator puncturing and fire starter and just to give you a detail on what the each um, enchantment does quick hands increases the speed of reloading weapons a trigger finger increases the speed you can fire weapons lightweight reduces the reduces the weight of a weapon reduces the weight of a weapon so it increases the ads speed uh collateral makes makes fire bullets travel through multiple enemies so like piercing basically over capacity increases the ammo capacity of a weapon Reclaimed, reclaimed, um, has, <coughs> sorry, recon creates a chance that a bullet won't be consumed upon firing a weapon, so basically like saving ammo, like, yeah, uh, accelerate increases the, the speed of fired bullets, puncturing uh, creates a chance that a bullet will deal critical damage, and fire starter, which I think is personally the coolest, is from fired bullets will set blocks and entities on fire upon impact, so yeah. Alright, so we've got all the guns here in the mod, so let's go and test them out. First we've got the pistol. Let's shoot the pistol. So we have a standard pistol, you know. Doesn't like, does mi medium damage. Decent fire rate. It's not, not a bad, not bad. Let's go in the shotgun. So, oh uh, yeah. It's, it's like, it will be, obviously will be better close range. It's not, shotguns aren't really meant for like, mid range, long range. And then we've got the rifle. Which will be like a, it's like a marksman rifle to be honest. Yeah, marksman rifle. I uh, will save these for later. Move to the assault rifle. We we'll see a good assault rifle, and we got the machine pistol, which is like got a high recoil. Yeah, high recoil. And then I got the heavy rifle, which is like really powerful and stuff. You also add attachments to make these like. Better and perks more better. Alright, we're not going to use this explosive in here because these are going to be very mass destruction. I don't want to use them in there because that's going to break it. 
So first we've got the grenade launcher here. So let's um Yeah, this also uses um this also uses um grenades as ammo by the way too. Yeah, it's pretty pretty cool, you know, like <laughs> exploding everything, bro. Pretty cool. I right, now the bazooka, which is gonna be um a bit destructive. Yeah. Like it's got a it's got quite a bit of reload on it too, but you can like change that. You can make the reload less with the perks. The achievements, I mean, obviously. Yes, yeah, pretty good. It's just, it's just like a little bit of an explosion. Let's just come up and see how far a bit of an explosion it does. I would say it does like about an, a creeper explosion, you know. And then last we got the minigun, which yeah, probably my um my opinion. I would say it's my, fav my, my favorite gun. My, my sorry. In my opinion, it'll be the, my most favorite gun in this mod. It's like a minigun, you know? Be like Rambo, just running through stuff, bro. Pretty cool. Alright, so it's night time now, so we're gonna show you. This is what I've been wanting to show you. Um, this is the thing what I made with the mods. And it's, um, it's pretty insane. So, um, I named it... <laughs> so it's got Trigger Finger 2 and Fire Starter. So, um, yeah. Um, it's gonna make it faster and it's gonna shoot our fire, so, um, yeah, let's just test it out, you know? Uh, three, two, one. Yeah. <laughs> That's, um, this is pretty, um, pretty cool, you know, so I said it's the fav- one of my favorite guns in the mod. And it's one of my favorite gun mods, too, because it's got enchantments as well as attachments as well as cool guns. And you can also the color of them, too, which is pretty cool. But yeah, you're just absolutely mowing everything down. Destroying everything, right? Like setting everything on fire. It's um, yeah, pretty um, pretty fun to use and mess around with, especially when you're playing with your friends. You know, pretty fun to mess around with. Okay, guys, this is gonna be it for this video. Um, if you guys did um enjoy this video, make sure leave a like and subscribe. And uh, oh my god, bro, I just realized in third person, look how cool you look, look how badass you look with the minigun, bro. Jesus Christ. Anyway, yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, let me know if you want to see more videos like this where I review on um, Minecraft mods. And, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.